Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you all how to generate the MD5 checksum of a file using Python. The code is very simple, so let's get started immediately. Import hashlib. Hashlib is the only module we will be using in today's video. Now moving on with our code, we first need to create a variable called file name where we pass in the path in which our file is stored. So I pass the path uh, we want to generate the md5 checksum for rotated.pdf. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a hash object. So let's call the hash object hasher equals to hashlib.md5. Hashlib has a function called md5 which will help us generate the md5 checksum. So to do this, what we need to do is we need to open the file and then we need to read the contents of the file and pass those contents to the hash object. So to do so, we write with open. Inside the open function, we need to pass in two arguments. The first one is the, fi the file path. So we pass in file name. And then the second argument is in which mode do we need to open it. So since we are going to read the contents, we use RB to open it in read mode. And we open it as open file. Open file is just uh, a name. And then we need to store the contents of this open file. So we store the contents in the variable called content equals to open file dot read. The read function will help us to read the contents of the file. So now we need to pass these contents to the hash object. So to do so, we need to use the update function. So hasher.update and inside this update function, we pass in content. Finally, we just need to now print out the MD5 checksum. So print and inside this, one last thing is we will use another function. So hasher.hexdigest. Hexdigest is a function which will return the MD5 checksum in only hexadecimal values. So that's, a, that's it. We just save this. And if we run this, we will be able to get the MD5 checksum of the file. And that's it. This is the value. This uh, string of hexadecimal uh, digits, this is your MD5 checksum. So in case you're passing a file to your friend and you want to know if your file has been corrupted or modified in any way, so you and your friend can uh, uh, exchange this MD5 checksum and you both can independently verify this value. If it's the same, that means your file has been untouched. And if it's not the same, it means that um, maybe your file has been modified or it's corrupted or you're just looking at the wrong file. So it's a great way of making sure that the file you pass on to someone else is identical to the one which you have just transferred. So I think uh, the MD5 checksum is a pretty useful uh, method of verifying files and uh, this code is very simple and useful to generate the checksum. So that's it for today's video. And if you have found it uh, useful, please uh, like and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please do comment below. Thank you very much.